the central room or this pre-room within the exhibition at the Salon um, in Belgrade, which is this construction of um, this wallpapered um, sort of wire almost, which depicts uh, a fictitious landscape. So it's a, it's a non-existing place, which is constructed from the uh, archival images that uh, I collected from the archive of Yugoslav history. And these are all drawn from um, the, the folders that Tito's personal photographers were preparing for him uh, when they were presenting the documents of the diplomatic course travels. Uh, but the idea um, that I was interested in was not so much as you know, what was the official uh, protocol selection of what was presented you know, to the press or to, to the Yugoslav diplomacy, but it was the, these moments in between of framing the, the space of, of the debate, of the political debate that went on to shape the, the, the stage for world politics. Usually when you look at these um, depictions of landscapes uh, through, you know, through European history, you always have sort of this sort of little kind of vignettes with a, with a title. So this is where these kind of slogans came in, that they are kind of what officially would have been, originally would have been like a, a vignette at the bottom of these black and white depictions of you know, of, of these territories. And somehow this idea for the landscape came from the questioning of uh, this notion of uh, a national landscape. You know, what is the national landscape? What is this culturally representative landscape that is being kind of, you know, composed through our collective consciousness uh, and how different it is and how, you know, sometimes it actually has not much to do with the reality. So for the opening, uh, I decided to uh, carry out a special performance with five uh, artists, five women artists uh, from Belgrade, who were um, who were gilding these slogans, and this was somehow kind of like the almost final act to to the exhibition, and uh, it functioned as a very subtle performance, which was really beautiful to observe because they were simply carrying out a work. And it wasn't quite clear, was, was there a beginning, was there an end, what was the beginning you know, of the performance and so on. It is self-explanatory that nations, as each and every historical event, fall under the law of change. The question of archives was quite central in the whole construction of the project and um, the former Palace of the Federation was so brilliant uh, as, as a model because this was kind of dealing with uh, the new world stage. It was completed just on time for the first conference of the Non-Aligned and this was a moment where you know a new stage for the world politics was being drawn which is of course in the contemporary condition extremely uh, interesting as a sort of source material for study. Blast! Plus, let our north wind blow through this musty, threadbare, tattered old world of concepts, systems, ideologies. So as soon as you have a new ideological form, the first thing they will start to do is rewrite the, the visuals, so the city, urbanism, uh, structures that are there to somehow impose their presence on the viewer. So on the spectator, user of the city, citizen, and so on. And also, when doing that, they try to utilize a new language, a new rhetoric. And what was so brilliant in kind of going through the archives of, of the building itself was to see how much power the artists and the architects were given uh, by the state to create the theater. Our time disdains the blind idolatry for the things of other periods. We have perfect knowledge of what we are able to do and what we must want. The preservation of past monuments must not simply be because of their material tangibility, but rather because of our love for them and of their settings. So I really wanted to inhabit this theatre with actors, with these four women actresses that uh, embody the, the, the speeches, the, the words of actual politicians, but the architecture itself is continuously present as this fifth character. The language within the film is drawn from numerous quotes from very different um, situations, um, times and so on, from Margaret Thatcher to Reagan to uh, Khrushchev to Tito. We are not only building architecture, we are preparing for the commerce of the future. 
Spielraum um, as an entire project open up um, the, the questioning of the broader structure of language, that is art language, so language of form and architecture, and language as actual rhetoric used by the authoritarian transnational structures that delineate these um, authoritarian forms. So the first chapter was an exhibition uh, presented at the Ludwig Museum, which was the one that functioned on the birth. The second chapter was um, the running space or Spielraum, uh, which was an exhibition presented at the International Graphic Center in Ljubljana. And the third chapter was the demise of this language, which was presented at the exhibition Tear Down and Rebuild in Belgrade at the Salon of the Museum of Contemporary Art. That which was beautiful yesterday is not beautiful anymore today, and that which is beautiful today will not be beautiful anymore tomorrow. <laughs>